Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Earlier this week, Apple rolled out iOS 26.0.1 alongside iOS 18.7.1 for those of you that aren't quite ready to make the jump to iOS 26 just yet. In this video, I'll break down what's new, what's being fixed, and help you decide on which version you should install. Let's dive right in. First up, what's the point of iOS 26.0.1? Well, since the release of iOS 26, some users, especially those with an iPhone 17, iPhone Air, and iPhone 17 Pro, started running into issues. Apple released this patch to clean some of those problems up. Now, iOS 26.0.1 doesn't add any new features. It's strictly about bug fixes and stability. For one, it fixes Wi-Fi and Bluetooth disconnects that were hitting some iPhone 17 and iPhone Air devices. It also resolves a bug that caused cellular network to drop right after installing iOS 26, which as you can imagine, could be really bad. In photos, it fixes weird artifacts that some people were seeing, things like white squiggly lines, black rectangles, especially under certain LED lighting. Another thing that it fixes are blanked out icon apps showing up after applying custom tints. And if you use accessibility features like voiceover, some of those were disabled after updating. This patch takes care of that too. Apple also confirmed that iOS 26.0.1 includes important security updates. So if you're already on iOS 26, updating to iOS 26.0.1 is a no brainer to me. It improves usability, fixes reliability issues, and keeps your iPhone running secure. Now for users who haven't made the upgrade to iOS 26 or can't upgrade because your device isn't supported, things like the iPhone 10R, 10S, 10S Max, Apple also released iOS 18.7.1. And 18.7.1 is strictly a security update. There's no new features here. The main documented patch in 18.7.1 is something called font per serve. The issue was that a specially crafted font could cause an app to crash or even worse, corrupt your memory. Apple has fixed this with improved balance checking. So if you're staying on the iOS 18 line, this is an important update to install. Even if you're not ready to make the jump to iOS 26 right now, 18.7.1 keeps your device safe and secure. So which version should you install? Here's how I look at it. First up, if your iPhone's already on iOS 26, your only option is to update to iOS 26.0.1. The bug fixes alone make it worth it, but even if you haven't ran into any problems, this update also includes important security patches. So I definitely would recommend installing it. If your device doesn't support iOS 26 or you just prefer stability over the brand new features, go with iOS 18.7.1. It gives you the latest security updates without forcing you onto a brand new OS. Apple has been doing this over the past few years, releasing these bridge updates to give users time while developers catch up. This is especially important for apps tied to sensitive equipment like health monitors, smart home accessories, or even things like point of sale systems for businesses. You don't want your hearing aids, your glucose monitors, or payment terminals suddenly breaking because the software isn't ready. If you're unsure or your iPhone is critical for work, it's always smart to wait a little bit. But personally, I wouldn't wait too long if security is your top concern. Remember, iOS 18 is only going to get a handful more patches before Apple's full focus shifts to iOS 26 and security vulnerabilities are real. You don't want to risk it. And regardless of which update you choose, always back up before installing. Please don't skip the step. All right, so if you're ready to install the update, here's how to do it safely. First, like I mentioned, back up your iPhone first. I always recommend doing both an iCloud and a local backup on your computer. It's something you don't want to skip, but obviously it's totally up to you. And I'll link a full backup walkthrough video right up here if you want a step-by-step. -step. Two, make sure your iPhone is charged or plugged in. Running out of battery mid-update can corrupt the install, and that's a headache you don't want. Also, use a stable Wi-Fi connection. Updates can be a few gigabytes in size, and a spotty connection might interrupt that process. Now that we have all that out of the way, let's go ahead and head onto your iPhone. So let's go into settings here, go into general, and then tap on software update. And if you're still on iOS 18, you'll see the option for iOS 18.7.1. And if you've already made the jump to iOS 26, you'll see the option for iOS 26.0.1.
Just tap on download and install and follow the prompts or just tap on update now, depending on where you're at. Now, if you're on iOS 18 and you're ready to make the big jump to iOS 26, the option's gonna be right down below. On some devices, especially if you're using a smaller screen or have bigger text settings, you might actually need to scroll down to see it. So don't miss it, it can be a little hidden. So it's right down here, just tap on upgrade to iOS 26 and then follow the prompts and make sure you have enough space. On this particular iPhone, I need up to 15 gigabytes of storage in order to install the new update. Now, once the update is complete, there's also a few things I would recommend to make sure everything's running smoothly. First up, update your apps. This is one of the simplest things you can do in order to prevent app crashes. So let's go ahead and try to do that right now. Open up the app store, then tap on your profile icon here on the top right. Scroll down to see your pending updates. You can update them one by one, or you can do it all by just tapping update all. And here's a little bit of a pro tip. You might want to refresh the page by pulling down because sometimes more updates show up after a refresh. Now for this particular update, you might also want to test your connections. Make sure your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, cellular data are all working as expected. Check your photos, snap a few pictures in different lighting just to confirm the photo bug fix work for you. You can also look at your app icon, especially if you're using custom tints to make sure that nothing looks blank or broken. Sometimes all you have to do is tap on it again and it re-downloads and then your image comes back. Also, if you use accessibility settings, if you rely on voiceover or other accessibility features, test those out right away to make sure they're functioning correctly. If something fills off, a force restart often clears minor glitches up. I'll link a video to that right up here. If your Wi-Fi issues persist, you can try resetting network settings, but keep in mind that will erase safe Wi-Fi passwords. Now, a quick note about performance. If your iPhone feels a little bit slow, laggy, or the battery drains fast right after the update, don't panic. That is perfectly normal. What's happening in the background is your phone is re-indexing data, things like photos, messages, files for Spotlight or Siri searches, and other features. This process can take up to 30 minutes to a few hours depending on how much data you have. So the more data you have, the longer this process would take. During that time, your phone is going to run warmer than usual and the battery life, well, it's not gonna be very great. My advice, gave it some time before troubleshooting anything. If the issues persist after a day or two, then it might be worth digging deeper. So there you have it, the full scoop on iOS 26.0.1 and iOS 18.7.1. 26.0.1 brings important bug fixes, stability improvements for the newest iPhones, while both updates include security patches to help keep your device safe. If you found this video helpful, please do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe for more Apple updates and iPhone tips, and let me know in the comments, did you install the update yet? Are you holding off? Is it running smoothly? Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.